Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make ceviche negro. If you've never had ceviche negro, you are in for a treat. And if you've had it before, you probably don't know how to make it, so I'm about to show you. Let me go over some of the ingredients so that we can get started. First step to getting a delicious ceviche is make sure that you have some clean shrimp, okay? And I like to slice them in half like this and then chop them up into pieces and some of them, the other half, I chop them into chunks. That fools my family that there's a lot of shrimp in here because you guys <laughs> know how pricey can be if you have to give a family of eight ceviche because it's like one pound per person. <laughs> okay, so once you have them chopped up finely um, or to your liking, you can even like chop them up like you would a ground um, pork or, or beef. Just real fine, easy for you to eat. That's how our mom used to make it, so she can stretch the, the shrimp. Yeah, she would just chop it up real, real fine, and um, it also helps with the people that don't like the texture of raw fish like this. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna go ahead and add your uh, lime and lemon juice. And if you have made my aguachile, you know my secret ingredient is... Do you know what it is? What? Your love? Obviously. What? Myers lemons. I wanted you to say it because you look so into that sentence. You know what? I'm not talking to you right now. Let's ignore Cloud for a few minutes, everybody. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you have all your shrimp, or if you're using fish, you want it saturated, completely dipped in this delicious lemon blend. What you want to do is you want to leave it in your refrigerator overnight, or six to eight hours is enough cooking time for uh, the shrimp. You're gonna see that they go from that grayish blue to a uh, reddish orange color, and that's when you know that it's cooked. All this lime and citrus cooks your shrimp and your seafood. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna add salt while it's marinating in the lemon juice because then it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get that saltiness out. And we want the saltiness to come from the broth that's gonna go in here, the liquid, not penetrate deeply into our shrimp. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Clap your hands, everybody. everybody. Everybody, clap your hands. Yes, girl, our ceviche has marinated. It's great. Let me see it real quick. Well, you mean your shrimp and lime? Yes, my, my shrimp ceviche. and lime. It's not ceviche yet, but we are exactly where we need to be. Let's set this to the side and get started. Did I sound excited on that? Yeah, I'm yeah. really excited. <laughs> you woke up in a good mood listening to some good music, wanting to make some ceviche negro. Yes. It's like that. Cloud and I get into the group of things where we just get fixated on something good that we ate. And now Cloud is more like me because we've been hanging out a lot. So before she used to laugh at me like, you want to eat that every day for like a week. Now she's on it. And this ceviche negro, a ver, dinos, tell us. It's one of those items that I <laughs> crave, that I dream about, that I think about like when I'm stuck in traffic. It's so good. <laughs> yes, it is. It's like, if you guys haven't tried my aguachile, I'll link it in the description at the end of the video. You guys have got to try it if you're aguachile fans and you guys know how we do it in this house. We love seafood. The ladies in the house love seafood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough talking. Cloudy, ready? Yes. Views Cloud, ready? <laughs> All right. First, you want to add your soy sauce. Then let me show you what kind of ponzu I'm using. So I'm using the Kikoman ponzu sauce. I absolutely love it, especially in my Mexican mariscos. <laughs> so good. So good. So we're gonna add our ponzu sauce. In Spanish, we call this salsa inglesa. And in English, let me try. Let me go for it. Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire yeah. Sauce. yeah. I can't say bouillon, but I can say Worcestershire. <laughs> Go ahead and add that. You guys hear that crackling? That's my little puppy. I thought there were pork rinds. No, girl. He's chewing on that little bone. And then I'm going to use Maggi seasoning. This stuff is amazing in your uh, Mexican-style seafood. Let's go ahead and add that. We're going to add a small can of V8 juice. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of this, but growing up, I used to have this with tapatio, a little lemon, and I would drink it. And it was so good. It's still really good. I have a lot of recipes, drink recipes with this one. You know what I mean? I sure do. 
<laughs> and then we're going to be adding our clamato juice. Yes? You see it? Yep. Now let's give it a good mix. Once you're done mixing all your ingredients for your sauce, you want to taste it. At this point, it's where you're going to decide if you want more Worcestershire, uh, ponzu, soy. Um, it's going to be up to you what you want next. But for me, I don't add anything extra until I've already blended it with our lemon juice and our veggies because that's, uh, that's when you're going to get that pure flavor of what you need a little bit extra of. And everybody's a little bit different when you eat ceviche, so just hang tight, take your time, taste, and adjust. Yeah? Got it. My voice almost uh, went away on that one. Okay, Peter Brady. Mm, puberty. Now, you know, when we got started, it was all gray in here. Now we have that orange, reddish tone. That's exactly what we want. Okay? So now let's go ahead and add our sauce. Let's go ahead and stir that in well. So once you've mixed everything well, go ahead and add your pepper. Notice how we haven't added any salt at all, okay? You have to remember your soy sauce and the other ingredients that we used have a lot of salt. A lot of sodium. Now it's time. Let's go over the veggie options we have. Chopped tomato, cucumber, purple onion, cilantro you can either use a jalapeno or a serrano it's going to be up to you the other thing is that you can actually balance it out with a little sweetness if you shred a carrot in here but you know you have some folks that are very selective so for your serrano and it's winter time so they're super spicy and my sister touched it yes <laughs> so we just kind of leave them whole because that way you can decide whoever wants it can put it in their plate and nibble on it and now, in no, no particular order, let's pour all this deliciousness in. When Cloud and I go out to eat, we usually stick to Asian food for the most part or mariscos. And guys... When you go out and eat your mariscos, don't forget to tip your person because they're going to treat you nicely when you go back again. <laughs> they will remember you. <laughs> they will remember you. So go ahead and begin mixing all your ingredients. Once you've mixed all your ingredients, you want to taste the liquid part, your little broth you have going on, okay? Okay. That's perfect. I love it. I love it. Now I'm going to add my salt to taste. So it's gonna be up to you. Start with a little bit of a sprinkle and then go from there. You don't need a lot. So my pinch ends up being like, what, an eighth of a teaspoon? Hardly anything. All right, now time for a good taste. You want to add your favorite hot sauce. I love guacamaya. Woohoo. I'm ready. Ready to dip. Okay, ceviche is best when it's cold. So this is nice and cold and we're digging in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Aprovecho. <laughs> Girl. It's mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. That's why you want to add a lot of veggies because the shrimp goes by real quick in here. But some you trick, aguacate. You got some avocado. You trick everybody. Chop up your, <laughs> chop up your shrimp. Mm. I can probably eat that whole Tupperware I'll in an hour. In an hour, just chilling. You know, it might take me thirty minutes, but. It's that refreshing. It's a nice little pick-me-up. Mm-hmm. It's a very light lunch. 
dinner. I don't know if anybody's ever had ceviche for breakfast. You I must have. have been hungover, but. Mm hmm. You want to taste? <laughs> I already had some. No, we're good. Okay. Thank you. That's what I like about you. You're independent. You'll grab what you need to in case I'm in La La Land. Yeah, I'm an adult. Mm -hmm. I know when I'm hungry. You know, <laughs> you're such a good adult. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend this recipe. Some people ask, like, you're um, you're strong because you sit here and record <laughs> while well, I'm over here indulging, girl. But I eat throughout the entire recipe. That's what people don't get to see. Mm-hmm. And we're best friends. And Why I wouldn't? eat before and I eat after. If you guys see me, guys, you'll know that I'm well taken care of. <laughs> if you see me, if you see me in, in person. But yeah, I mean, I don't skip meals. Anybody comes to the house, they don't want to eat something that I'm making. I'll make something else for them. And I actually have some things that I've been working on for the past month and I'm getting closer because I'm really good at making this recipe and if I run into any complications, I can fix it, but I don't want you to go through that. So, you know which one it is? Yeah, but then you get mad at me if I say it out loud. Don't say it. Friends, yes, I, I want to thank you so much for <laughs> watching today and joining me. And on that note, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Hey, 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 hey. Salió esto.